Tonight! It's been a year, and what a doozy! Tonight's episode is no big deal, it's just the season finale! I am freaking out! You wanna hold my hand? Yeah. Sure, if you want. Okay. They're holding hands before hooking up? Where do they find these animals? Up, down, 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 up, down. Whoa, Carrington sure is great at up, down. The recoupling has Johnny and Sally feeling like, oh my god, talk to me, baby. I was not expecting that at all. Like, at all. Oh my god. Talk to me, baby. I was not expecting that at all. Like, at all. It's morning in the harsh desert of Nevada, Nevada. Uh, Vegas. The islanders sleep in their air-conditioned habitat. The Selly bird, or Cellius irritatus, subgenus islander, is restless. The Selly bird is the fastest in the villa, but is an evolutionary anomaly because despite there being plenty of available water, for some reason, this creature is always thirsty. New girls Lakin and Julia have both chosen to go on a date with the man whose name sounds like a reliable 19th century typewriter, Carrington. Carrington, Carrington, Constructington, Toastington, Confusington, Nappington, Unclearington, Tender Loving Carrington. Guy that put Laurel through an emotional roller coaster knows her parents watched every second, so now he's shaking in his bootsington. Oh, I know what you mean, like, yeah. I also need to brush my teeth, but I'm sure I can narrate at the same time. Drama, recoupling, emotion. <sighs> Nailed it. As our couples head off to bed, it seems like all is well in the Love Island Villa. Sleep well, my pretty little islanders. Dream of love and, and romance with the one beside you. Nothing can come between you and a happy ending now. <laughs> <laughs> Kirsten still upset Carrington returned from Casa Amor with Laurel. The former partners share a moment of reflection, aided in part by Kirsten putting two bathroom mirrors on her face. Bro, Carrington is crushing his day with Mercedes, dude. Laurel's all like, up with that. <laughs> All the mics on? <coughs> Laurel's concerned, so seeks counsel from Caleb. Inside, the girls reminisce. Luckily, no one says reality TV's forbidden word that starts with J and rhymes with journey. Damn it! Oof, we were all surprised, Caleb. I dropped my Love Island sippy cup and almost stained my Persian rug. Luckily, it's fruit punch colored, and if you're thinking Persian rugs don't come in fruit punch color, well, then enjoy this break and think about why you want to come and tear me down. Uh, Carrington, be a lamb and tidy those cushions. Thank you. Uh, now have a confusing chat with new girl Lakin about how you're torn between her and current partner Laurel, even though you only met Lakin a day ago. Thank you. Moira and James, who are already on Love Island time, aka L.O.T., not to be confused with Elote, which is Spanish for Mexican street corn. This week, you saw Connor go on a date with Lauren, which sent Mackenzie into an emotional state that can only be described as put a brick in your dryer and press spin. Ah, oh, stock footage. Let's do it. What better way to get to know a house full of strangers than a very G-rated game we innocently call Suck and Blow. Or, as they call it in Sweden, Suck and Bloven. New Islanders Caleb and Calvin are going to see if they can charm Moira and Kirsten over white wine and a shakahootery board. <sighs> we got the uh, full disclosure, a fruit plate isn't a Shaka Khan accoutery board. Either way, top us the mid-morning to them. Looks like Mackenzie is keeping her options open, as long as the guy she's with sees her as the only option! Seems fair. At Casa Amor, the boys are concerned about the recoupling. They flock together, forming a murder of bros to discuss. Here's Love Island couple and what I presume is an Irish law firm, Connor and Mackenzie. Troubled Irish law firm, thriving Irish law firm, slow talking Irish law firm, volatile Irish law firm, Connor and Mackenzie. Combustible court is now in session. The girls have a spa water chat, or as they say in Ibiza, 
spa water. Results time. And the one who got my heart racing most was this piece of cheesecake. Thanks for the girl talk. Anytime. Please do not hesitate to pull me aside. Every time a go-go dancer cries, a bouncer gets its wings. Tonight's recoupling is gonna be a thriller in the villa. Here comes Her Royal Highness of Heartbreak, Ariel Vandenberg. After the family's grilled Johnny Amora about Casa Amor and the immoral dilemma Amorica saw, he's more or less over it and doesn't want to talk about it any more. I'm good, baby. Now that Mackenzie and Connor are back on track, it's time for the new girls to have a conversation that will make our British producers say, love it, absolutely love it. The new girls are playing chat roulette and Julia's landed on Calvin, who opens with the same question I ask myself every time I look in the mirror. Why the heck are you here? It's time to lick my pencil, spit on the wall, and tally up the votes the way I counted the days of hard time I served in Sing Sing. Not the federal prison, the small Delaware performing arts school and home for wayward boys. What's that? Stop talking and get on with it? Whew, it was an awkward night for Moira and James, who, much like my parents throughout my entire childhood, spent the night sleeping in different beds. Friday night, the Islanders got a group text. Whoa. Not me. Please choose one couple to spend a private night together. That Mackenzie decided was just for her. All right, see you all later. Let's go. And like me trying to remove my Spanx on Emmy night, Moira said, I'll have no Moira that. It's Love Island where we're finally allowing cameraman Tom to try his reverse shot out of the big heart idea. <gasps> Nailed it. Moira's coupled up with Calvin, but much like the extra A in his name, Aaron is being very upfront. The couples must feed, burp, comfort, and change smelly diapers. And once they're done looking after me, they must do the same for the babies. It just got real, baby. Reality TV just got real. And don't call me baby. All right, fine, call me baby. It's not, it's not. All this narrating has worn me out. Oh, mommy needs a water. Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe? That's right. If you cantaloupe in Vegas, where can you? I'll see myself out. Our final four couples are ready to exchange their declarations of love. I'm not crying. My eyes are just doing hot yoga. Seems like we found a whole lot of love. Now we just need to find an actual island. Bye!